you professional. So, hello, I'm here with Farhan, and Farhan, introduce yourself, tell people who you are, and what do you do? Um, I am, uh, well, he's Axel, he didn't introduce himself, so I'll do it. Uh, Mr. Axel, I'm Mr. Axel's um, long-lost brother. <laughs> no, um, I work at Strength Camp. I am a PhD in neuroscience. Uh, I'm on a path to explore the world and get different experiences to explore my own uh, inner peace and my sexuality, my uh, health and fitness try to align my body to to become an optimal beast when it comes to lifting i am here to uh do have insights get some weird experiences talk to really different types of people in the world so i can expand my consciousness spread the love and i do that through youtube videos as you know okay that you would say that is your goal right now to explore the world world and see what's no. out there no, my goal right now is to make money. Okay, I see. To achieve that, right? I don't think, I'm not thinking that far ahead. I, the way it's working is my experiences and my exploration is just allowing me to make money too. Yeah. Which is great, because that's what I want to do. I see. So, um, something leads always to something else. Like, uh, there are consequences, there are things that, you know... Build up something. You're you know. okay if you're not in the in the camera so much. Yeah, okay. you're okay it doesn't matter. It's okay, you're you're on the side. Okay. So, um, tell me, uh, what led you to this position that you are into right now? So, where do you work right now, and what led you to this position that you are in right now? I was tired of insecurity. I'm still insecure. I think the ultimate. Not not the okay so. The ultimate goal of my life is to overcome fear. That's what I believe. My goals may change in the future. Right now it's to make money, but my ultimate goal is to overcome fear. But the reason I'm here now is because I've always been insecure about things. I've been insecure about my own health, my own body, my sexuality, uh, how, if, if I'm good enough or not for the world. And so everything I do, every step that I take is to overcome those insecurities so I can feel good about myself. And so I can uh, have better self-esteem. And so ultimately when I see somebody and whoever that person is, I don't want to have any fear of what I am as a person. And I should just go, go there, talk to them and have zero fear, no matter who they are, because I feel good about myself. So I'm on that path and that is why I'm here. Would you say you are satisfied with your position right now that, or you want no, to improve? I'm not satisfied at all. Yeah, okay. You're not satisfied. So you want to go into to your journey and you want to fulfill your plans to be satisfied or you want to, how do you feel? I like, don't think I'm ever going to be satisfied. Yeah. Uh, just because I know human behavior. I mean, I studied the brain. I, I know how people are. I've had enough experiences with people. I've had enough experiences with myself to know I'm never going to be satisfied, but it's not for satisfaction. It's because there's nothing else I can do. If, if I start meditating and let's say in a month I achieve some kind of state where I don't care about doing things anymore, I become satisfied, I'm, I have peace, that's a different story. But right now, I'm not satisfied and I think I will never be. Okay. So it's more so like a never-ending journey to you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it is, hopefully the journey will end one day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I don't think it's going to end. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I hope it ends. I don't know. I don't think it's ever going to end. And I don't want it to end. The journey itself is the, the experience that I want and the experience that I'm going to learn from. And I'm very, very far from what I want. Would you say this is like your passion that you do? What do you do right now, like exploring all these things and working on your projects? Uh, is this, this your true passion? No. What is your true passion then? My true passion is to go wherever I want in the world. 
my true passion is to explore whatever culture I want. So for example, I want to go in Africa and or, or either Africa or South America. There's these people who walk on four, they have their hands and their feet, they walk on everything. And that's the only community in the world that walks on all fours. I have the passion to go live with them and understand how a human being in today's world, the homo sapien, can walk on all fours because that's going to expand my consciousness. Another thing I want to do is I want to go to places that I've never been. Like I want to go to Sudan. I want to go to Sweden, right? I want to go to these places. I want to be able to uh, be part of cultures that I've never been a part of before. I want to do that stuff. I mean, and unless I do that, I'm not going to meet my passion. This, of course, this is not my passion, man. My passion is to travel and uh, do weird things. So you would say you are doing all these things that you do right now to fulfill your passion, to Hope be so. able to yeah. drive into your passion. Hope so. I mean, uh, I kind of think of what will enable me to get to my goal. Right, So there's different aspects of my life that I want to capture, I want to fulfill. Right, So health is one of them, money is one of them, spirituality, uh, be, being comfortable with my family, um, having a secure place to live. I don't know, there's these things that I want to kind of have fulfilled in each area of life. And then I will be able to end the journey. But... This is just one part of that. So one part of it is obviously to look good, to feel healthy, to uh, explore my own strength and fitness and nutrition. So that's why I'm here. Because without that, I won't ever get to my goal. Um, I see you have like a dream, like you have this passion, right? You, you told us right, a second ago. But... Um, what do you think about an idea that might sound like this? Um, while you go on, on your journey to fulfill your passion, um, on the way there, you meet another passion. How do you see it? Is that possible to somebody? Or is that even yes. a true passion? Absolutely. That's like, uh, because our brains keep changing. So 20 years ago, whatever thoughts I had, I don't have them anymore. I, I, 20 years ago, I was a ment mentally retarded. In 20 years from now, I'm going to say, oh, I was mentally retarded 20 years ago because I'm just doing stupid things. Think of it like this. In order for you to understand your weakness, you have to become strong at something. So if you never did a squat, you're never going to know what body part you're weak at, which the squat is involved, which... Whatever body parts are involved in doing a squat, you're never going to know the strength of those parts unless you do a squat, right? So your passion could be doing a squat. But then when you do a squat, you might say that, oh my God, my glutes are weak. So now your passion will be, in order for me to fulfill my passion of squatting, I have to strengthen my glutes first. And now you have a second passion. What happened with me is when I was in Las Vegas... My passion was to go out and meet a lot of girls and explore my sexuality, and I did that. But what I realized is that I had the weakness of not having money, and I had the weakness of not being physically fit. So I saw all these guys in Vegas who were really fit, who were, they felt really good about their bodies, they had six packs, and obviously a lot of them were on steroids, you know, they were juicing and stuff, whatever. But I realized that in order for me to fulfill the passion of women, uh, of, of being alpha or whatever you want to call it, being very dominant and being comfortable with myself, I figured out these two weaknesses, money and looks. And then I went on a path to solve these two problems so I can solve the first passion. Okay. So, um, everybody's different, right? So, um, everybody has a different passion and so everybody has a different journey. But for someone who now lives without a passion how could he find a passion right now if he doesn't have one right now why does he care about having a passion because 
he might look for and seem lack of it. So the question is, does he care about a passion or does he care about the idea of searching for a passion? Two different things. Because okay. a lot of my friends in Dallas, some of them are total losers. They're, they're there. They're always like, oh, I wish I left Dallas one day. I wish I moved out of my parents' house. Bullshit. They don't wish that. They have, they like to think that they wish that. So then they can keep waking up in the morning and say, oh, I wish something. Oh, I wish something. I wish something. Now, truly, if someone says, you know what? I wish I had a purpose in life. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, maybe like the true drive and true purpose. Because uh, some people like are looking to other people and they see like, oh, he's so passionate about something, but they don't see their own passion. Okay. You see? This and is how. Okay, I, I got your question yeah. now. So, uh, Rene Dykstra is a very famous scientist. Uh, he's, he's dead now. He came up, he's a computer science guy. Yeah. Uh, University of Texas at Austin. He was the guy who invented the shortest path algorithm. It's basically you have a bunch of dots, a bunch of lines. You have to figure out how to go from here to here. Shortest path. He figured it out. Amazing, amazing guy. A graduate student went up to him one day and said, Hey, Dr. Dykstra, what should I do? I don't have a passion. I don't have a project for my PhD. What do you think I should do? So Rene looked at him in the, in the eyes and says, I want you to do something that only you can do and nobody else. So to come up with your passion, you have to think, what is that in the world? Based on your current life, your current experiences, what is something only you can do? It could be an obstacle. It could be something that you suck at. It could be something that you're weak at. It could be something that you're strong at. Right? So for me, very personal example, I thought, what can be my passion in life? You know, I already had a passion. I wanted to be a professor. I wanted to teach uh, university students about the brain. You know, and I have, but I wanted to do that for my whole life. But I realized that that was not my passion. My passion was something else. I thought, what is it something that only I can do that nobody else can do? What are my experiences? Well, my experiences are being raised in a very suppressed environment, very sexually suppressed. My experiences are being very unhealthy, being very unathletic during my life. So I thought that is something in terms of getting there, teaching people about how to become that, overcoming those obstacles. Only I can do that so in the world. You basically went out of your comfort zone, in the other words, because you went from not being athletic and, you know, being, uh, you know, being like uh, this unsafe guy to becoming almost the opposite, right? Sure. You explored uh, the other field. Sure. So um, someone might be scared of it, you know, oh, I will have to do all these things. You know, people sometimes are so uh, depressed with their jobs and what they do daily, day to day. Um, but the thing is, they don't follow their passion. So I think, to me, it's uh, very important to find your passion and, you know, either you will have obstacles in your way to fulfill that passion, you have to go for it because that way you will find your true happiness. Um, but uh, question to you is, uh, how can someone set goals for themselves and make them realize? Is there like a trick you can share or something like that? First of all, before I answer that question, you're absolutely right. What you're saying about getting out of your comfort zone, what, whatever you're saying about uh, whatever you're passionate about, you need to do the opposite or you need to do stuff like that, as you have done. I mean, you've overcome a lot of obstacles too. I mean, you know, we have a video about that. Yeah. Uh, uh, the porn star video <laughs> about the raging boner. Uh, they should watch, watch that. Uh, yeah, there, okay. will <laughs> there will be a link below. There will be a link to the boner. Um, no, so... Uh, yeah, so you're absolutely right. Great insight. Goals. Um, How to set goals and achieve them. Because I think uh, it's uh, very important to set goals because if you have a goal, then you are directed somewhere. So basically, it's like uh, training and knowing why you're training. And otherwise, you just 
I would say act fast is act probably fast. my number one How advice to anybody. So, very simple example. I wanted to uh, figure out how to make my own kombucha. It's a fucking tea, yeah. Chinese tea. You have to ferment stuff, right? So what did I do? I got a book, looked at the recipe, ordered my shit on Amazon, went to Walmart right now, got all, all the stuff. I talked to a local brewer in St. Pete here in Florida. I'm going to her tomorrow to get the, the, the yeast. Uh, it's called SCOBY. It's uh, what are the fuck yeast and bacteria, this mold thing. Or not mold. It's like, it looks like a mushroom. Uh, I'm going to go get that from her tomorrow. I'm going to get my Amazon stuff fr- Friday, and I'm going to start cooking that day, Friday. I got my pot, uh, you know, the fucking uh, pan. I'm just going to cook it. Now, that was my goal. And the way I'm going to achieve that goal is by acting right then and there. Now, if I was like, oh, you know what? Let me research this for a week. Let me watch like 100 videos. And a lot of these fuckers watch videos, you know, all the time. And that's all they do. They don't act. So yeah. you need to act. When I Okay, another example of action. I wanted to uh, explore dating and women and all that. So I looked, oh, what's the number one company in the world that does that? Real Social Dynamics. I was like, you know what? Fuck, I'm going to go and see what the fuck it is. So I graduated August, end of August. First week of September, I was in Las Vegas working for them. I, I fucking flew to Vegas. I acted. Because here's the thing, right? Action, it's not just that it enables you to get to your goal. It enables you to understand if you actually care about the goal. So it's uh, the thing we talked about yesterday, fail fast, right? That's exactly right. To see, do you like it or not? You know, you will you see. To, okay. You have to fail fast through execution. Because yeah. a lot of people hear that, hear those cliche quotes or, or sayings, and uh, they don't get it, right? Or they just make memes of them, right? Yeah. You're, there are hundreds, hundreds of examples like that. People might think you're taller than me in this video. You think that's good? Uh, it doesn't matter. I think like it's more so about you and you answering the questions. And, and well, they don't know your you're, you're, you're on this like stool. I mean, they don't know you're on, on a stool right now. Okay. I mean, it's fine. It doesn't matter about it. Axel likes to be taller than other people. Okay. 